Hello everyone, myself Dr. Shravya, Senior Resident in Department of Radio Diagnosis at Ains BP Nagar. Today, I am going to present a learning case on hydrocele of Canal of Nagar. So the history was, a 28 year old female patient came with complaints of swelling in her right groin since 20 days. The swelling was sudden in onset and there was pain on applying pressure on the swelling. There was no history of bubble and bladder dysfunction. The case was referred to us by Department of General Surgery for ultrasound of abdomen and pelvis and ultrasonography of the targeted swelling. On ultrasonography, with a high frequency linear probe, we could appreciate a well defined anechoic lesion showing posterior acoustic enhancement. There was no communication with the peritoneal cavity and there was no change in the swelling with Valsalva manual. On MRI, these are the T2 weighted images where we can appreciate a thin walled. T2 hyperintense unilocular fluid collection noted in the right inguinolabial region. Mm. The final diagnosis given was hydrocele of canal of NUC. Coming to the literature review, hydrocele of canal of NUC is a rare condition in female children caused by failure of complete obliteration of the canal of NUC. The case discussed uh, above was if uh, adult female and which is an uncommon presentation. Uh, now let's discuss the embryology. Uh, in both males as well as female fetuses, mm -hmm. two structures play a key role in inguinal canal development, that is the gubernaculum and the process vaginalis. Gubernaculum is a fibrous structure connected to the inferior pool of the growing gonad and extends down to the groin area. In males, it is associated with testicular descent. In females, due to the lack of the androgen as well as the anti-mullerian hormone, gubernaculum interferes with the mullerian duct and attaches to its mid-portion, mm -hmm. to that of the uterine corner. It becomes a ovarian ligament above this attachment and the caudal section becomes a round ligament attaching the uterine corner uh, to the labia majora. Process which analysis appears in the first trimester of the gestation. It is nothing but the imagination of the parietal peritoneum that enters the deep inguinal ring before the gubernaculum. In inguinal canal, it lies medial to that of the gubernaculum. In males, it is associated with testicular descent, whereas in females, the canal of NUC refers to the section of the process vaginalis that is located in the inguinal canal in the females. Normally, the canal of NUC completely disappears during the first year of life. Failure of obliteration of the canal of NUC gives rise to communicating hydrocele and hernia, whereas incomplete closure of the canal of NUC gives rise to the hydrocele. When the proximal portion of the process vision is closes and the distal portion is patent, which is uh, the distal portion is lined with the mesothelial cells which secrete fluid into that of the pot into the potential space, giving rise to the hydrocele. This hydrocele of canal of NUC is further classified into three types based on its appearance. Type 1 is an ancestral hydrocele. This is a cyst that develops due to partial obliteration of the proximal portion of the canal of NUC and it presents as a non-reducible painless mass and where the volume is unchanged with the Valsalva manoeuvre. Type 2 is communicating hydrocele which occurs due to the patency of the canal of NUC and appears as a non-tender reducible mass that may arise after performing Valsalva or unstanding. Type 3 is a combined type where the lesion has an ancestral inferior section in the inguinal canal and labia majora as well as the upper intra abdominal portion. The hydrocele is compressed by the deep inguinal ring creating an hourglass appearance. The case discussed above was type 3. The various differentials that one has to consider in a female with inguinal mass are indirect inguinal hernia, tumors like lipoma, leomyoma and sarcoma, cysts like bartholin cysts, then um, abscesses and lymphadenitis and all these differentials were excluded in the above discussed case. Coming to the treatment, most cases do not warrant any urgent surgical intervention. Few cases do due to infections, tumors or herniation into the canal of NUC. The surgical treatment for the cyst of the canal of NUC is excision of the cystic structure with concomitant closure of the inguinal defect with or without mesh. If an inguinal hernia is diagnosed at the same time, a hernia repair with or without mesh insertion may be done simultaneously. In few cases where a gubernaculum fails to adhere to the uterine corner, the ovary might descend into the inguinal canal. Herniation of the ovary could lead to incarceration, strangulation and ovarian torsion which requires emergency treatment. Uh, these are my defenses and thank you.